Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. Hello everybody again, welcome back to Buy Hotel. I hope you're all well. Before we get into it, I need to remind you is that I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm about to talk about today is just my own thoughts um, and a bit of education more so than anything. It is not me instructing you to make these moves. Everything you do, you must do off your own accord and do your own due diligence. Also, don't forget to like the page. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get more subscribers. We're over 100. It's going well, guys. Thanks for everybody that's helped out so far to grow the channel. We're doing it together. We're winning together. It's brilliant, isn't it? Things are done better together. That's the way I believe. So, without further ado, let's get into today's topic. Now, this is a stock that's trading at about two and a half dollars at the minute. Um, I've opened up my position yesterday. The stock is ADMA Biologics. This is a biotech company that has only recently been brought to my attention in about the last week or so. Kind of been watching it and seeing how it's going. Regretfully, because it's done nothing but throb really over the last while. You know, it's up over fifteen percent in the last week. The reason why I've to chose now to strike is because I've recently looked at a financial report. Um, and there's a few things here that kind of excited me. Now, there's a lot of these plays out there, and it's very hard to pick. And again, with it being a penny stock, guys, it's going to be high volatile. It's going to be high risk. So, you know, only play with either small beer or money that you feel comfortable that you possibly could lose. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that the volume of this share has actually increased. There's a lot more people trading it, which usually gives an indicator that, you know, there's, there's something that people know. The insiders generally know what's going on, and there's something more exciting there. Okay, so let's have a look at what they do. Um, we'll have a look at sort of the financials, and we'll have a look at that reporting, and I'll give a bit of an overview of where I believe this could go. Okay, so ADMA's website, if you go on here, groundbreaking immunotechnology, one connected at a time. End to end commercial biopharmaceutical company committed to manufacturing, marketing, developing speciality plasma derived products from the prevention and treatment of infectious diseases in the immune compromised and other patients at risk for infection. Ultimately, you just gotta even look at where we currently are. During a pandemic, yes, we're trying to roll out vaccinations. Yes, we're trying to protect. Wouldn't it be better to prevent than rather than cure? You know, we live in a world where we've seen the absolute impact that COVID has had. Wouldn't it be better to invest in technology to be able to prevent these types of things? There's a lot of stuff on their website that is exciting. And I advise everybody before they do, to start going and have a read at all this year. You know, I've done it. There's a lot of really exciting things. The C code, the pass-through payment system, that sounds really good. The stuff that they're trying to get patent, the plasma work that it's talked about you know this is all kind of exciting long term this penny stock really does have legs and you can see why people are putting price targets of 10 11 12 dollars on these things because there is a lot of excitement about it if you go into the investor section of the website here you know you can see the change today but the volume has increased 52 week low of 146 and a high of 464 kind of in the middle at this price good entry point in my opinion um, I've just filled up there at £2.30, so we're rock hard on that. I had a look through the financial reports. I'm not going to read it the full report out and bore you all with it, but if you go on their website, they do an overview. I do advise everyone to go in and look in the proper details of it. For the purposes of this video, guys, you can have a look at it here. The full year 2020 preliminary unaudited total revenues of £42.2 million, a 44 increased over the full year 2019. <sighs> Woo! Smell a bargain. A record fourth quarter 2020 preliminary unaudited revenues of 13.9 million compared to 12 million during the fourth quarter of 2019, reflecting a 16% increase. That's what you want on stock. You want a stock that's growing year on year, quarter to quarter. Mm -mm -mm. You smell it? The preliminary results in the fourth quarter of 2020 represented the company's highest revenue generating quarter since its inception. Smell it? 2021 is poised to be a transformative year for ADMA as we continue to execute on their mission of providing specialty immune global bulletin products to patients and building a highly profitable end-to-end -end biologics manufacturing company. CEO Adam Grossman commented. You can see here that they expect revenues to grow um, and 250 million or greater by 2024. So again, guys, yes, penny stocks can be highly uh, a volatile but I mean if you're picking stocks that have good growth potential you know you are safeguarding yourself to some extent it plans to complete certain supply chain enhancements and capacity expansion programs as early as mid 2021 to me guys I'll be keeping this stock on the back of this news this is what this catalyst is for this penny stock in the short term it's about getting the FDA approval through it's newly installed fill finish machine as well as the IVIG manufacturing scale increase should enable ADMA to realize significant operating efficiencies and improve gross margins beginning potentially as early as mid 2021. So this to me guys is the first target. I won't be looking too further ahead than that. 
Um, if they don't hit this, I'm out, guys. But this could be a real catalyst for a throb. Yes, great to see you know further stuff here. 2024 ADMA's Plasma Collection Center Network will achieve the goal of building up 10 plasma collection centers in the US. So plenty of growth, plenty of expansion. Happy days. Good to have it in the pipeline. All right, guys. Look, it's a very high overview by all means. Of course, it is. Um, I'm all focused on the first quarter here. I'm going to keep you up to date with how they get on. That's the first milestone for this target. You know, it's got to be a short-term target for this for the stock for me. More of a swing trade potentially on the cards here. But don't tell, don't get me wrong. If they smash the targets here coming up, and they are able to get FDA approval, and they are able to, to, to get this thing rolled out in the sort of first quarter, and the targets that they have set get smashed then you know I, I won't be pulling any money out let's just see where the ride takes us to ideally we'll be playing with house money by then and keep it in for the long term goals but look things can change fundamentals can change i'll keep you up to date of course okay guys so that's the video i mean the stock currently is trading at about two dollars forty HC Rainwhite has actually increased their price target from $11 to $12. They're very bullish in it. They share the same sort of thoughts as myself. Um, so, yeah, there's a plenty of upside there. For me, the risk to reward ratio is greater for reward. So it's worth a punt. And I think at the end of the day, that's the way penny stocks should be looked at. Yes, you can believe in them. Yes, you can think that they're going to go well. And yes, you can be passionate about it. Of course, but you have to be prepared for the fundamentals to quickly change and expect high volatile swings. Can't express that enough, guys. From 240 to 12, it shows over 400% upside. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go to 12. I'm not even saying I will be in this stock when it goes to 12. But what I'm saying is there's a plenty of upside which make you believe and will be me believe that there is an upside that we can definitely achieve on this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. You know, are you interested in buying this stock? Is this a good one to be pursuing? I'm going to roll with it for a while. I'm not too passionate about it. I'm not going to lie. It's just something that I feel that, yeah, there's going to be a return on it. And at the end of the day, for me, it's all about that top line figure in my portfolio. I want to see that increase. I don't try to get too attached to a certain stock. That's how I started my portfolio. Buying brands that I like, BMW, oh, I like the cars, blah, blah, blah. Nonsense. <laughs> you you got to look at fundamentals. You got to look at what's going to give you growth and of course yes find ones that are you're passionate about by all means but this is one that i believe i can get a good return on so that's the video i hope you found it informative please like please subscribe we're growing it and until next time thank you yeah bye coincidence yeah coincidence something that happens by chance i think not